These days, most of us have many devices that we want to charge at the same time and it's not always easy to find an empty charger or to find a charger that is powerful enough to charge our devices in a timely manner. Enter the 260 watts charging station that I got from Amazon. So this one is sold under many brand names. I got the one that is sold under the brand name you big boy and in this video i'm gonna put it through a series of tests to see if it delivers on its promise and also to see how good it is also of course i'll be covering the usual like the unboxing and also telling you about its specifications and about its ports so the tests that i'll be doing are three tests the first test is to measure the accuracy of the wattage gauge that you see here in front of you and the second test is to see if it can charge six devices simultaneously and also how many watt it will provide to these devices and also how many watts it will consume from the power outlet and the third test is to test its protection mechanism so i'm gonna charge a device to 100 percent and we're gonna see if the wattage here on the gauge will stop providing power to the device so to protect its battery so let's start first by unboxing it Let's open the box. This is everything you get in the box, the user manual, the charging station, and the power cable. So let me tell you about the specifications of this charger. You have three USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. The first USB-C port is a PD 3.1 and it will always provide 140 watts regardless of what you connect to the other ports. Now these two USB-C ports are PD 3.0. If you use only one port, it will provide 100 watts and if you use both ports at the same time, they will provide each 45 watts. These two USB-A ports here are Quick Charge 3.0. If you use one only, it will provide 18 watts. And if you use both of them simultaneously, each one will provide 12 watts. And on the top, you have the wireless charger that is maximum 15 watts. So the overall charging power of this device simultaneously is 260 watts. Now you see here you have a touch button and this touch button is to turn off the lights. For instance, if you're charging at night so that it will not bother you. Also, this charger is a GAN charger. So GAN is a technology that permits more efficiency, less heat and faster charging times. And it has all the protection mechanisms that you can think of. Short circuit, overload, under voltage and so on. Just before performing the tests, if you're liking this video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. So now let's start with the tests. Now we are going to do the first test, which is the accuracy test. This is my power station. It's from Gulu and it has a display here and the display will show us the wattage that the power station is consuming. And we're going to compare the wattage to the wattage that we're going to see here. So this power station maximum input is 100 watts. I connected now the charger to the 140 watts port and this cable here can support up to 240 watts. So I'm going to connect it now and we're going to compare the results. We need to give it a moment so that it goes to the maximum. So you see that it is taking 100 watts and the charger also is giving 100 watts. So the first test is accurate. So now I'm going to change the cable to this port here and we're going to do it for all the ports. So this port here also should provide 100 watts. So what's happening here is that it is taking 99 watts, which is really very good. But the display here is only 94 watts. So this is not very accurate. So let's try the second port. So for the second port also, it's displaying here 100 watts. But the measure here is 98 watts. So this is within the margin of error. So now I'm going to measure the wattage that is here on the USB-A ports. So this is also a USB-A to USB-C cable that is very good. So I'm going to connect it now to the power station. And we shouldn't be able to draw more than 18 watts because this is the maximum here. So the power station is displaying 19 watts, 18 watts. And here it's displaying 17 watts. So this is also an acceptable result. Let's try the second port. 
and it is also exactly the same for the second port so it's displaying around 19 watts and here it is 17 watts and this is also an acceptable result so the results of the accuracy test is that most of the ports are accurate except for the number two port which is the type c2 port it is off by almost 5 watts so I don't find this to be a big deal because it is giving 100 watts it's only the reading here that is not accurate but nevertheless it should be corrected in my opinion in this machine now it's time for test number two in test number two we're gonna measure if this charging station can charge all these six devices at once so I have two iPads I have USB-C also tablet and I have these two power stations and also I have my phone, iPhone that I'm going to be wirelessly charging on top of the charging station. And the second measure I'm going to be taking is to see how many watts this charging station is providing to all these devices at once. And how many watts it is also consuming from the electric outlet. And the third measure I'm going to take is that how much it will heat up. So this is like a heat measuring gun. After one hour of operation... I'm going to measure the heat on this charging station to see how much heat it is providing. So let's turn on the power station. Everything is now connected to it. And all the devices that you see in front of you are at zero. So the battery is completely depleted except my iPhone that is on 15%. Let me turn on the power for the charging station now. And I'm going to start the timer too. And I'm going to give it a minute before seeing the wattage that is displayed here. So we have a total of 181 watts that are provided by the charging station and I'm assuming that the phone is also taking about 10 watts so it is providing 191 watts to all these devices and you know that it can provide more but I don't have a device that consumes more than 100 watts so let's see the watt meter how much wattage it is drawn from the electric power and it is drawing 216 watts what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take the temperature of the charging station so to be able to compare the same temperature after one hour of operation. So the temperature is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So at one hour, the charging station is still giving the same wattage, which is really very good. So let's see the charging status. The power station, this one is charged to 55% and the USB-C tablet is charged at 44%. This power station is charged at 14% and the iPads are charged each one to 30%. Now, what stopped charging is my iPhone because it really overheated. So let's get the temperature of the charging station. And you notice that the temperature of the charging station went up to 130, which is really very hot. And this is why the iPhone stopped charging wirelessly. Now the wattage on the watt meter went down to around 205 watts and this is because the wireless charging is not working anymore. The results of test number two are mostly positive. Everything went well and everything was stable except for the wireless charging and this is because the charging station really overheated. The third test consists on seeing if the charging station will overcharge a device when this device arrives to 100%. So here you notice I have my USB-C tablet. So this is an Android tablet connected to the USB-C port and all the numbers are zero, which means that the charging station stopped pushing power as soon as the tablet reached 100%. So let me show you. So notice on the tablet there's 100%. Of course, now when I turn on the display of the tablet, it's going to consume a little bit of power. And as soon as the display turned off, the power went back to zero. And it's the same for the iPad. So I have an iPad here that is charged to 100%. And of course, if I turn on the iPad now, it will start consuming electricity. But as soon as it reached 100%, the charging station stopped providing any power to it. So the overcharging protection test is a success for this charging station. Now, would I be recommending this charging station and would I keep it for my personal use? Yes, I'm going to be recommending it and I'm going to be using it also personally. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. Now, what I like about it is that it is really very well built and it is affordable for what it offers. It has also very good power. And also what I like about it is that it is heavy and it has rubber feet. So, you know, when you put 
all the USB cables in it and if you're charging devices it stays in place and it doesn't move now what I don't like about it is that it tends to get very hot when you charge all the devices on it simultaneously especially if you're using like the 100 watts or 140 watts now when you are using it to its full capacity the wireless charging gets hot very fast and it will stop working but also if you're not using all the connections and you are using only the wireless charging it tends to get hot after approximately 30 to 35 minutes and it will also stop working so the wireless charging is a gimmick in my opinion if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video